Hello Gators, this is 8-1 Right Triangles in the Pythagorean Theorem, Day 2. I can establish relationships in special right triangles. Let's take a look at some um, algebra review. When we want to simplify rational expressions, we don't want to leave a square root in the denominator. So what we want to do is multiply the numerator and denominator uh, by the number 1. And when I multiply by this particular number 1, the numerator will be equal to 2 root 2, and the denominator, root 2 times root 2, remember, is root 4, and root 4 is the number 2. We can do a little reducing, and then the simplified version is root 2. We're going to do this again over here. I'm going to multiply the numerator and denominator by root 3. The numerator will be 6 root 3. The denominator will be root 3 times root 3, which is root 9, and root 9 is 3. This is called rationalizing the denominator. The denominator no longer has a square root in it. I'm going to reduce, and the answer is 2 root 3. Let's do it again. I'm going to multiply top and bottom by root 5, and I'm going to have 6 root 5 in the numerator. Root 5 times root 5 is root 25. Root 25 is the number 5. We no longer have a root in the denominator. That's as simple as we can get it, and we're done with that one. Let's take a look at solving proportions. Solving proportions means you cross multiply. So this will be 4 times 14 is equal to x, and then x will be equal to 16 of uh, 56 here. This is called an extended proportion, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve this one first. So I'm going to cross multiply. That'll be 4 root 3, and then that'll be x. So I found my x. Now to figure out why I'm going to use these two right here, I'm going to cross multiply, and that'll be 8 is equal to y. Let's do it again. I'm going to use these two, and I'm going to cross multiply. So this will be uh, x times root 3 equals 9, and then I'm going to divide both sides by root 3, and we just practiced how to do this. We are going to multiply the numerator and denominator by root 3, and so now this is going to be equal to 9 root 3 over, and then this is going to be a 3, do a little reducing, and this will be 3 root 3. I'm going to multiply, I'm going to use these two, multiply. I'm sorry, not those two. I want to use these two. And I'm going to cross multiply, so that'll be 18 is equal to uh, y times root 3. I'm going to divide, and so I'm going to have 18 divided by root 3. I'm going to do it again, multiply the top and bottom by root 3. And then this will be y is equal to 18 root 3. And then this is a 3, root 9 is a 3. I'm going to do reducing, and so the answer will be 6 root 3. So 6 root 3 will be equal to y. Let's take a look at uh, um, an equilateral triangle, which is also equilangular, and we're going to draw an altitude right down the middle. And, and because this is an isosceles triangle, this altitude is going to cut this into equal pieces. So if I call this 2, then this will be 1, and this will be 1, because 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Um, now the 60-degree uh, angle also gets cut in half, so this is now a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And let's use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out what this height is. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And the 2 has to be in the hypotenuse. So x squared will be equal to 3 because this number is 4. And when you take the square root, that will be uh, root 3. So this missing side right here is root 3. Now root 3, and if you put it in your calculator, it's about 1.7, which makes sense because this number should be smaller than the hypotenuse. So you have a leg a leg, and a hypotenuse. Let's look at this again one more time. So 1 root 3, 2 is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. If I were to double all the sides, this would also be a 30, 60, 90 triangle because these are similar triangles. If I would times it by 3, these numbers would make a 30, 60, 90 triangle. If I were to times by 4, all the numbers would make a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Or if I just want to multiply by x, as long as I multiply, have this x 
multiply this x and then this will be twice as big. This will be a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So what we have learned here is on a 30, 60, 90 triangle, the, if the hypotenuse is 2x, the shorter leg is half as big x, and the longer leg is root 3 times x, and root 3 is like about 1.7, so you're timesing about by 1.7. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can solve this 30, 60, 90 triangle. Remember, this is what we learned. I have going to set up a proportion. This is called an extended proportion. And in the bottom, I'm going to write the ratio 1, root 3, 2. Because that is the ratio. That is the ratio of a 30, 60, 90 triangle. The sides are at this ratio. Okay, now opposite the 30 degree angle is x. So I'm going to put an x here. Opposite the 60 degree angle is y. I'm going to put y here and opposite the right angle is 16, so I have a proportion. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve. So I'm going to, actually I'll, I'll try to solve these two first. So I'm going to cross multiply. This will be 2x is equal to 16, therefore x is equal to 8. Now I'm going to do these two right here. I'm going to cross multiply. This will be 2y is equal to 16 root 3. I'm going to divide both sides by y, and that'll be 8 root 3. So this is the math that'll get you your answers. Let's do it again. Remember, this is 30, 60, 90s have a ratio 1, root 3, 2. So opposite the 30, I'm going to put a 1. Opposite the 60, I'm going to root 3 in the denominator. And opposite the 90, I'm going to write a 2. So all 30, 60, 90s have this ratio. So I'm going to go ahead and put these numbers in to create these um, ratios right here. So opposite the 30 is 7. So I'm going to put 7 because that's uh, 30. And then opposite the 60 is y and opposite the 90 is x. Okay, and what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to solve uh, this one first. So I'm gonna cross multiply, that'll be 14 is equal to x. And then I'm going to, oops, I wanna not do those. Uh, 14 equals x, and I'm gonna use these two right here. I'm gonna cross multiply, seven root three, is equal to y. And now I have I found x and I have found y using the, the ratio 1 root 3 2. Okay, let's do it again. Remember that the ratio that I want to use is opposite 30 is 1 root 3 2. Okay, and opposite the 30 is what I'm looking for, y. Opposite the 60 is 8. And opposite the 90 is x. So I want to solve these two, cross multiply. So this is going to be um, y times root three is equal to eight. y is equal to eight over root three. And remember, we have to rationalize. So multiply the top and bottom by root three. And so therefore the answer will be eight root three over three. Now to get x, I'm going to multiply these two right here. So this will be 16 is equal to root three over x, or times x. Now I'm going to, I'm going to uh, divide, and now I'm going to multiply the numerator and denominator by root three. And so therefore x will be equal to 16 root three over three. And I can't simplify anymore. That is the answer. All right, we have another one. Uh, again, we write one root three, two. These, this is the ratio for a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Opposite the 30 is x. Opposite the 60 is y. Opposite the 90 is 42. Okay, and so I'm going to use these two to help me figure out what x is. Cross multiply, two x is equal to 42. So x is equal to 21. Now to solve for y, I'm going to use these two. I'm going to cross multiply. 2y is equal to 42 root 3. I'm going to divide both sides by 2. And y is equal to 21 root 3. 
Let's do it one more time. Well, I'm gonna write one, root three, two, opposite the 30, I'm gonna put an X, opposite the 60 is six, and uh, I guess we could call Y, well, we're not even being asked to find Y, so we don't have to worry about it. We're gonna cross multiply. So X root three is equal to six. So X is equal to six over root three. I'm gonna times the numerator and denominator by root three so that I can rationalize. And then this answer will be six root three over three. And when you uh, reduce, it'll be two root three. And that's all we were asked to do is find X. And this is the summary.